as I'm back here at the Mustang, just looking over everything. Everything looks good. He uh, wants to get her out, start driving again. It's been sitting since last time I worked on it. You can see the clears come off really bad off the entire car. Look at this. It's just come off in sheets now. The trunk's completely bald. <laughs> no clear. So we're going to have to do something about that. But everything else seems to be holding up pretty good. And he never uses his harnesses I put in. Um, so they're just kind of laying back there. And i got to freaking fix the door panel, it looks like. So, just want to give you guys a quick once over on her. See how everything's holding up. And then uh, I will try to get her started up and do a video. I'll be back. So far out, but it's way out. Of course not. Where's the other one? Get rid of that jack. All it needs is, I think, uh, hydraulic fluid if you want it. Well, oh, really? Yeah. That's one of them kind that'll kill you. Oh, yeah. For little things. Oh yeah. All right, choke set now. It was a. Uh, I don't know why it was turned that way, but it was actually turned where it was open. So now it's closed. You got that hooked up. That's why I always hook up my positive first and my negative, so I don't freaking do that. Because I've done that on this once. That's right. Okay. You want to get in there and see what she does? Or you got to flip the switch and everything on, too. See the old girl do is. <coughs> Should put a new belt on it this year just to be safe. It's a little, a little frayed there on the corner. Everything else looks fine. Fuel in the filter. See if this choke's working out. Should start a little easier since the choke wasn't working. I looked at it and I'm like, why the hell is it turned all the way open? I could see where the marks were and it was all the way advanced to where it was open. So I put it back in the center where it closes. So we'll see once it warms up, that should. It never did work. Yeah, I know, it did work. No. Nope. You don't have the cables tight enough. Try it. Fucking crap ass cables. Hold on. Crap on a damn battery, too. Anything? Damn it. Hold on. It's damn positive. Huh? A little warm? Try it. Hold on. 
crank it over. Okay. We got fire. We have fire. We don't have any the accelerator pump. Crank it again. Maybe the bowls are empty. You got any fuel to put down in it? Let's do that. Oh, wait a minute. Try it. Hang on a second, I gotta adjust this damn choke. It's such a pain in the ass. What the hell's your problem? Okay. That ain't the problem. What the hell's going on here? Like a damn choke idle is not working. Try it now. Just let her warm up for a minute. There's something wrong with that choke. He doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, was that positive? Uh, that would be easy, huh? Yeah, that Does it? thing just sounds so damn good.
You're good, just need a few more degrees of timing. And I'll adjust a little bit. I got her tight on her now, she should be good. That's why I was double checking it for you, that way you didn't freaking go somewhere and be like, click. You should be good now. Just need a little bit more timing in it. I would, with these heads the way they are, yeah. I can run a crap load more timing in it. Oh, I see. So I just add a little bit more timing. Originally I set it at the base timing for the stock 289 and then bumped it up about 10 degrees more than that. And then I just bumped it up probably another four degrees. So you should be ready to rip. Right. Yeah. If you have more problems, you can just let me know. Hopefully that's him though. Well, okay. um. Wanted to show you guys what I got for my birthday. I got Cletus gear, check it out. <laughs> my uh, stepdaughter, Miranda, I kept telling her I, I love Cletus' uh, channel and watch him since he's been on there with the, uh, when he started out with the drag racing channel, but I thought that was so cool. That's one of the shirts I wanted, and then she got me this one here for my birthday too. I'm like, oh, you freaking rock. Now I got Cletus gear. So I thought that was just cool as hell. I just want to show you guys what she got me for my birthday. She's such a sweetheart. Hope you guys enjoy my channel. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I will do some more videos here. So I get some work in. I got a focus coming in. I may show you guys how to do the um, AC controls on that. Like I said, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you guys have a good evening. Oh, and an update on mom's car. Um, after I went through and did the differential and everything, I did do... Uh, I changed her pan and stuff on it because it was warped around the, where the bolts go in. It was leaking a little bit. And um, come find out her overdrive, her overdrive's gone out. You uh, push the button in the overdrive, you know, shut it off manually, and it's perfectly fine. One, two, three, no problem, no slips. Turn the overdrive in. Once it tries to go into overdrive, it does the uh, no gear. So she's either got an electrical issue in the wiring harness to the, to the um, shift solenoids or in the wiring harness going to the transmission. So... I just told her, just drive it with the overdrive off. They don't drive it on the interstate. They're around town with it. So I uh, should be good to go. I just want to let you guys know what I found out after I did the differential. So that's why my brother said it was acting like it was jumping on a gear wall. I assumed that it was rear end locking up and he put it in park, put it in drive, and it would, you know, release the pressure on the gear and it would roll and all that. So it wasn't that. But uh, it does fine with the rear end I put in it. Everything sounds good, no more noises. That other pinion bearing was so bad, there was grease slung, or oil, gear oil slung around the underneath of the car where it came out of the front pinion. So, uh, I'm just pooped. Hope you guys like my channel, and uh, I will be getting back on my junkyard vets here sometime this year. And uh, I gotta get mine on the street. I gotta fix a tire, fix a brake line, I'll show that. And then the green one's going to be coming back from my mom's house so I can put the small block in that I have for it now instead of going with the big block. So I'm just going to put it back together, probably interior and stuff back in it, and we're just going to flip that car. So you guys have a good evening. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.